it began with a fish. For each of us, our pursuit of great angling began with a single fish, a single tug on the line, and one moment when we knew that we had hooked a big one. The tackle has changed and the rules have evolved and what we know about our quarry has grown over the years, but the story of great game fishing and the story of the International Game Fish Association has remained the same. In 1939, when the IGFA was formed, the first order of business was standardizing rules and record keeping to level the playing field for the growing sport of recreational fishing. Although World War II stymied the activities of many fishing clubs, the IGFA plowed forward, consulting with prominent anglers the world over to produce the first book of international angling rules in 1945. It was not a static document and would be updated and amended through the years. As recently as 2012, the IGFA added release rules and recommendations at the request of dozens of tournaments seeking to adopt all release formats. But the tradition of global collaboration would be the hallmark of the group, continuing as founder Michael Lerner forged exploratory fishing and research expeditions with the American Museum of Natural History, searching the waters of Chile, Nova Scotia, New Zealand, and elsewhere. The IGFA published some of its own papers and findings, but as the number of IGFA representatives and affiliated fishing clubs and scientific institutions around the world grew, they increasingly found that the data generated by anglers could serve science as well as sport. Thus it is that while the learners and the expedition members are having great sport, they are at the same time adding immeasurably to scientific research and study of these ocean habitats. It is almost a truism, IGFA Vice President Philip Wiley noted in 1945, that the angler, through pursuit of his hobby, becomes more than a mere seeker of pleasure, and often enough a naturalist of sorts. Angler-driven science is alive and well at the IGFA today. The newest project, IGFA Catchlog, in partnership with Columbia University, is a pilot project testing the feasibility of improving recreational fisheries data with an innovative iPhone app used by anglers themselves out on the water. The IGFA Great Marlin Race, a partnership with Stanford University, has engaged tournament anglers to deploy satellite tags in billfish species in 12 countries in the past three years. Data from projects like these and the pursuits of record-seeking anglers has not only helped the IGFA and researchers learn more about game fish, it has also helped establish us as the authoritative voice for recreational anglers worldwide. But our biggest advocacy success came in 2012, when data collected in the IGMR was used to champion the Billfish Conservation Act. This bill was successfully passed into law and banned billfish importation in the United States. But just as the IGFA helps anglers contribute to science and data collection efforts, the organization also helps sportsmen connect with the knowledge we have gained. Resources like species identification are in the hands of hundreds of thousands of dedicated anglers through the annual IGFA World Record Game Fishes book, the www.igfa.org website, and the IGFA mobile smartphone applications. And anglers have put this information nice to good fish, use. To date, nice the IGFA oh has approved nice more than 7,000 freshwater world records and 16,000 saltwater world records. The newest world record category, All Tackle Length, which is an all release category established in 2011, accounts for more than 400 world records and is quickly growing. All told, more than 23,000 catches have been recognized by the IGFA as being world records, each the culmination of the tireless, passionate and dedicated pursuit of anglers. That's the story of the IGFA. Its worth to human relations the world over cannot be exaggerated. Its value as an umpire in a great sport is deeply appreciated by many and should be understood by all. An Australian dreamed it up, an American made it fact, surpassing the dream, and everybody who wets a line, whatever his nationality, his bait, or the fish, has reason to rejoice in the result.